I am Anita. I am a speech language pathologist and audiologist. If you are new to our channel, then please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon. In this video, I am going to be talking about stuttering which is also called as stammering and developmental disfluency. Now before we proceed, let's look at what is disfluency and its types. In simple terms, disfluencies are nothing but any kind of interruptions in speech. The types are 1. Repetitions, where the child could be repeating a syllable, sound, word or even a phrase. For example, the child could be saying b -b 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 ball. 2. Prolongations, where the child could be holding on to a sound for an extended period of time. For example, the child can be saying fish or say like etc. Third, blocks or stops where no sound is produced and then a burst of tension will be released when the child is beginning to vocalize. For example, the child can be saying I want a cookie. Interjections where extra words like saying um, uh, like are embedded into the sentences. Revisions, where speech is being revised during the utterance. For example, if the child wants to say, the child wants to go out, then the child might be saying, I have to go, uh, I need to go to the store and so on. So the child will be revising the speech during the utterance. Now, as your child is growing up, their language and vocabulary also grow with them. And disfluencies are a part of normal development of speech and language. And this is especially seen during the preschool years between the ages of 2 to 5. All children will go through a period of producing these speech disfluencies when they are learning to speak. So they struggle or stumble on their words uh, to get the words out. And this disfluencies, they are often seen when the child is learning to master language. Wherein the child has to put the thoughts into words, select the correct grammatical structures and produce the sounds and words correctly. And most commonly seen developmental disfluency is repetitions. So repetitions can be of sounds, syllables and words and this is especially seen at the beginning of the sentences. And these can also occur usually maybe about maybe once in every 10 sentences because typically a child will have lesser or fewer than 10 disfluencies per 100 words that are spoken. That is like almost like 10% of the words that will be produced disfluently. So these are usually common among young children and they are usually not a cause for concern. But as a parent, how do you know if your child is exhibiting developmental disfluency or stuttering? So let's look at the table. If we look at the types of disfluencies, they are same across developmental disfluency and stuttering. That is, they exhibit similar repetitions, prolongations, interjections, revisions and blockages. So these were the same ones that were discussed earlier. And in developmental disfluencies, the children are not aware of their speech. Whereas in stuttering, they are very much aware of how they are talking. And the frequency of occurrence of disfluencies in developmental disfluency is um, less than 10%. That is for every 100 words that they have uh, spoken, the number of uh, uh, disfluencies that are exhibited are even less than 10. And in children with stuttering, it will be more than 10%. And the children with developmental disfluencies, they show no negative reactions to speech, whereas children with stuttering, they may be surprised, frustrated or even embarrassed by how they are talking. And the children may even ask their parents uh, why they have trouble talking. And looking at persistence, disfluencies can persist for a few weeks or even months and sometimes may go away for some time and it might return. So this happens in developmental disfluencies, whereas in children with stuttering, the disfluencies may uh, last longer than 6 to 12 months 
and uh, that is when you have to uh, be concerned and talk to your speech therapist so children with developmental disabilities they may show no core behaviors whereas child with uh, stuttering they may be reacting to the disabilities so they may show core behaviors like they may be blinking their eyes or closing their eyes they look um you look to the side or they can exhibit uh, tension uh, in their mouths when they are stuttering so these are the few differences that you can notice uh, in uh, comparing uh, developmental disfluency and uh, stuttering so if you are not sure if your child is demonstrating developmental disfluencies or exhibiting stuttering then contact a speech language pathologist a speech language pathologist can help to determine if therapy is recommended and will also collaborate with you and your family in finding the best therapeutic approach that would fit your child if you found this video helpful then please like share and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video from us see you next week